We're back out on the bass buggy, and today we're talking everyone's favorite small jig, the Bitsy Bug. You won't want to miss this one. Stay tuned. Boat flip it nicely. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Very nice. Yeah. I knew they'd be in that grass. I knew they would be in that grass. Very nice. On the jig. That is a pretty, pretty fish. Pound and a quarter. Yeah, Beautiful yeah, red eye. Pound and, pound, yeah, pound and a quarter. Pound and a quarter, pound and a half, somewhere in there. Beautiful fish. You want to go ahead and release her? Yeah. Well, look at that fat belly. Show that fat belly to me. Turn it around. Turn to the fat. Look at that belly. Turn the belly to me. See, look at that. That nice fat belly. Nice little football. Okay. Very good. Beautiful. Let's catch some more. The most important thing about fishing beds, when you catch those big girls, and even the buck males off of the bed, whenever you catch those fish, put them right back. Don't keep them. Don't put them in your live well to measure them, weigh them for later. Put them right back where you found them. That way, the next generation of fish will be protected, can grow up to be those big ones that we're all looking for, and everyone can continue fishing into the future. Welcome back to Low Bra Fishing, and today we're talking about the iconic Bitsy Bug. This small quarter ounce jig has done more work for me than probably any other small jig in my arsenal, including finesse jigs. In the deep south where I live, these things are invaluable in your tackle box. Whether you're casting up under brush, flipping up under docks, or whatever, bitsy bugs get it done. And when you're fishing beds for spawning bass, that's when a bitsy bug can be even more valuable. Now, we know that bass, when they get on bed, they get real finicky. They don't necessarily want to eat as much as they want to move the invader off of the bed. And something with a huge long trailer or something with a lot of skirt material for them to grab a hold of and move to the bed means that they're not getting the hook in their mouth. And that's where this little guy comes in. It doesn't offer much of a profile and usually they end up biting that hook. But even this can get pulled over and dragged by the side. That's why I came up with a little tip that I use when fishing especially finicky bass. Let me show it to you. Now, what I have here is a beat-up old Senko. Now, this is a 4-inch one, and there's no need to throw these away. We're all about saving money on this channel. So what I'm going to do is, is I'll just pull it apart right there. I want to keep that tail. This is what I want to use. Instead of a huge craw trailer, we want to keep everything small. The point is, is to get that fish to bite the hook, not anything around it. Now, I'm going to take my Bitsy Bug here, and I'm going to just pull that skirt material right off of there. And be careful, we're not trying to hook ourselves. And we want to save this skirt for later, we want to put it back on. And we're going to take this, and we'll just thread it up on here. Try to keep it nice and straight. And once you have it threaded on, like that, and remember, you're going to have to thread it on a little bit further down the hook because the skirt's going to be gone. But now, this is an enticing morsel that's sure to aggravate any bass if you drag it over their bed. You jig it over there nice and slow. And it gives them a smaller profile and less material to grab. So they can't just grab it and throw it to the side. Like they would with a Texas rig bait or a bigger jig that's got a skirt on it. This works really great, and especially in the, in the spawn, it works amazingly well. Even outside of the spawn, when you're fishing pressured waters and you're finding those bass are very finicky, this works just as well as a Ned Rig, but it's way more weedless than a Ned Rig, especially in heavily vegetated areas in the deep south, um, from Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, all the way around to Florida in those heavily vegetated lakes that tend to be shallow and full of hydrilla and eelgrass. This is a must-have presentation. It works great. So the next time you're out bed fishing and those fish are giving you just little nips and you just can't seem to get that hook set in, Give this a try. 
I'm sure you'll have great results with it. So there you go. We have two great presentations that can get the job done, especially when those finicky bass are up on bed. They're easy to use and they're easy to create on your own. And we're saving money when we do that. So remember, the next time you're out fishing beds, try the Bitsy Bug and try this little hack. I think you'll be more than happy with the results. Thanks for watching Lowbrow Fishing. We'll catch you in the next one.